This tutorial is for Vegas Creative Software Movie Studio 16. You can find my pro version here. Alright, so we got Movie Studio 16 Platinum up here. Now, this is different than Vegas Pro, so there's a better way to do it in Vegas Pro. So I highly suggest you have Vegas Pro watch the Pro version of this. Now, uh, I normal, normally I don't recommend doing what I'm going to do, but it will work pretty good for Movie Studios. So it'll be pretty darn good for the fact that your software is so cheap. It's so cheap. Anyway, so what you're going to do is you're going to get your source video, drag that in, and I'm only need the first part of it here. So this is just me. And then I want the fire over top of it. I'm going to separate the audio and the video, and I'm going to make sure the fire's over top of it. Now, before this started, I deleted the picture in picture track. If you need extra tracks, you can right click and hit insert video track, and you can insert all the video tracks you need, but you're going to need at least two video tracks, and the fire needs to be on top of this. Now, the fire needs to be a back background fire. So even though for the Movie Studios version we're going to use the chroma key, now again I say this is only for the Movie Studios version, um, you do not want to use green screen fire because the green bleeds through the fire and the fire is going to have green tinges and you don't want that. It's going to be very obvious what you did. So another way to do this is to chroma key out the black and that will give you a similar effect not as good as a compositing layer in pro but pretty pretty close and it's in your you might even be able to hide all the differences uh, but before you do that you need to go to levels so find your video effects levels drop that on the fire and what you want to do is you want to crush the blacks of the fire okay you want to make the black even blacker and you want to make the brights a little brighter. Maybe not much because it's fire, but the blacks even blacker. Increasing that contrast will will help what the effect you're about to do. It flattens the blacks, which means it'll be a lot easier to key out what you're going to key out. The next effect you need is the chroma key effect. Go to your C's, find chroma keyer, and drop it on there. And then you need to go grab the color grab the color use the dropper here grab the color of the black and there you go now you have fire in your project now you notice there is some artifacting depending on the kinds of fire you're using that's because that artifacting well it really just is an effect of the chroma key because a fire manipulates the color around it so what we can do is we can uh, decrease the threshold there a lot. And if you want more about chroma keying, I have a tutorial about it. And you can uh, inc increase the high threshold a little bit to bring some of that fire back. And that should clean up your effect a lot. And now you've got fire in your shot, in movie studios, in a... In a very cheap software you can do this awesome fire keying so like I said that's not how I would do it in the pro version but it is a very effective way to do it nonetheless in movie studios so thank you like if this video helped you out subscribe if you're looking for more thanks for watching I'll see you next time and if you're looking to purchase this software if you purchase it through my affiliate link that would help me out a lot thanks for watching I'll see you next time